Here I am with friends standing in the 2019 Bloxy Awards Theater, which was used for testing earlier today. Roblox now has a brand new feature known as video streaming, which is videos in Roblox. We saw an example of it being used in Clone Trooper's post about The Office, in which he found a new feature earlier in 2019. Most people assumed it would be used for short clips, but instead, we found ourselves with an entire live stream which is playing as I record this video, which was last year's Bloxy Awards, in Roblox. Roblox has been made using of the frame feature in the developer tab to stream this year's Bloxy Awards 2020, which has been stated that it will be live streamed in Roblox. It's a first for the Bloxies, with it normally being streamed on YouTube. In fact, players were so into this feature that this morning, the front page game crashed due to traffic. This is surely going to be neat. In today's video, I will explain my predictions, I will also show some test footage in Roblox if you missed it, how to get the shoulder pet dragon, my predictions and how it will be future utilized, and more. Let's get started. My name's Snooky Alex, and this is our Roblox news series, in which we report on Roblox events every week. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. But before we get started with this video, make sure to subscribe so that way you never miss out on the latest Roblox drama, news, tips and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that way you never miss out on one of my videos, which I upload once a week. Also, if you could subscribe to Nick Says Henlo and get him to around 400 subscribers by March, that would be great, and I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Now let's start with our grading process of the video. Normally in every video, we give a grading process to help organize it. I will also provide timestamps in the description so that way it will be easier for you to find whichever you're looking for because I understand some people do not want to watch the full video. However, I am trying to reach monetization this month so it would mean a lot to me if you'd watch the full video as I've tried to provide my best points and summarize it in detail. As I mentioned previously, I will provide a grading process so that way you can find where the video is also it helps to make the video more organized. So, our grading process for this video will be Number 1. What the feature is slash review of the actual feature, history, etc. Number 2. Review the dragon and how to get it. Number 3. Community opinion on the feature. And lastly, our conclusion. Let's get started with our first point, the review of the feature. Developer logs on Roblox Studio two months ago on developer Clone Trooper 1019, also known as Max's account, which is now suspended. He found that in the Roblox Developer Studio, that videos with a 30 FPS frame rate could be uploaded to Roblox. In spite, he uploaded a short clip of The Office with Jim in it using these features. Another game that tried to use this feature is Skid's Playground, in which the developer would stream them playing Roblox to Roblox over a TV over a couch. Kaneko and others made a video on the game with the developer in it. However, it was revealed that the game was taken down. For your info, it is now back up again. The games at GUIs were play at 30 frames per second and they weren't of the best quality. It was a popular topic as many creators were saying, imagine my videos in Roblox. Although imagine Tanuki Alex videos in Roblox. Haha, <laughs> JK, JK, unless. Some also had a bit of issues with it, because they believe that moderation would be harder to upkeep, therefore enabling inappropriate games that some found distasteful. This was the suspected reason on why Sked's Playground was taken down. However, around two months later, Roblox on Twitter tweeted this, Want to be among the first to get a sneak peek at an exciting new feature on Roblox? Check Roblox on Saturday at 12pm PST and maybe score an exclusive item in the process. Out of the leak, some suspected it was a new currency, others suspected ray tracing. It was unclear until a tweet was made at around 2.53 p.m. February 29th, 2020. That says, Today we expand the boundaries of Roblox. Help us test a new feature and get a free exclusive shoulder companion for offering your feedback. This is now known as the Red Dragon, in which I will explain how to get later. There is also on the front page a new category and a blurb like the maintenance blurb announcing this. Roblox may have added this feature because of the popular demand on videos in Roblox. 
The highest video about that has around 300k views. Roblox added this feature recently as of the announcement of the Bloxies 2020, which had with medical communications on until recently. The main focus of the Bloxies 2020 is to be a video experience inside Roblox instead of YouTube. It is clear Roblox is definitely expanding their multimedia projects. We could definitely see GIFs in Roblox soon into a custom feature. Let's go move on to our next point. Today in EST, Roblox finally started their live stream. Well, it wasn't really a live stream. It was last year's Bloxy Awards that they showed. Many were excited, but by the test footage, many had complaints, as well as myself. It's clear that this feature had effort put into it, and just as Clone said, there is 3D sound enabled. From the live stream, some of the video was lagging, and despite the button saying standard definition and high definition, the video was in lower quality. From my angle, I have a 1080p full HD monitor as well as an i7 graphics card, and it still seemed to be lagging. However, the sound quality was quite nice, so I did like that. This feature could replace Roblox YouTube's entirely if they plan to put a hub, which is rare but it could be an option. You could also go in front of the screen and you could still hear background noise. It's clear this feature won't be out just yet, but it works. My overall rating is a 4 out of 10. You can also see how to get the dragon, you do a survey and complete it to the best of your ability, which awards you a badge. I want to know your guys' opinion on this. Leave it down below in the comments. Let's go on to our next point. In order to get a fair and just perspective on the issue, we should look at community opinions to see what the community feels as a majority. Let's look at some on Twitter. HD, the quality wasn't very good and full screen wasn't 16 to 9 ratio. At least there was a lower quality option so people with worse internet speed could enjoy it. The video and audio did keep cutting out at times, and when you're not in full screen, the volume is down and I have my volume all the way up. Roblox, this is awesome. Great new tech. And shown below is a picture of the Bloxy Nominate Awards. Thanks Roblox for the new dragon. I had to make my arms blocky to show it. Yay, thank you so much. It was fun. And down below is a picture of their character with the dragon. It seems to be pretty nice. I like it. This is the best thing ever. Video finally over, adding my two cents to the hashtag Roblox video streaming technology. Audio was fine, but wasn't really loud enough unless you were in full screen. Even in HD, the video was not the highest of qualities. No singing issues on my end. Overall, I'm excited. Roblox video streaming technology is very cool. I guess this is a bit of a stress test of that technology and associated servers before that event. I'm glad they're testing now instead of live during the event. I hope they fix the squish stream bug. That's the feedback I sent. I think it's a UI aspect ratio constraint away from being fixed. The new Roblox video streaming feature is so cool. The quality isn't the best for what it is. It's amazing. So Roblox is testing out video streaming in games. It's okay, but the audio is quite compressed. They're stuttering sometimes. It takes like 10 seconds to load the video. Doesn't in this recording, already joined the game before, and the picture is definitely not high definition at Roblox. I'm loving the new video streaming feature on Roblox. It holds great potential for the future in the game as a whole. So the community opinion is saying the same thing. This definitely holds great potential for Roblox in the future, but for now it clearly needs to be updated. This feature needs a good amount of work to make it exceptional in time for the Bloxies, which will be announced at a later date, presumably April or May of 2020, I guess. The Roblox video feature I feel won't just be used for Bloxies, but will eventually be given headway for even developers. Maybe like UGC, where only trusted developers endorsed by Roblox are allowed to use it, or Roblox's moderation may have to step up to allow all to use it. To be honest, I'm not really sure. This would be a great feature in my opinion to include for dream trailers when one enters a game. It would also be a cool experience to have like cutscenes in certain games from video, instead of taking the work to have it in game. I also predict that this feature will roll out, if it does, for public use by June 2020 to 2021. I hope Roblox takes this great idea for a learning experience and we can move forward. Props to the creative direction in this GUI concept. 
This concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching my video, and you can cop my Roblox merch at my group said clan, which is in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh, yeah. Yeah.